हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय न्यू जेनशिंग इम्पैक्ट वीडियो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द न्यू लेट्स बिल्ड द टीम द आर्ट इफेक्ट द वेपन्स एवरीथिंग एंड वी गोन मेक आवर न्यू लेट ब्रोक एन एंड देर इज मेनी पॉसिबिलिटी दिस यू कैन डू विद न्यू लेट विद इन द इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वेपन्स टीम्स एंड आर्ट इफेक्ट देर इज अ बंच ऑफ आर्ट इफेक्ट सेट्स इन द गेम बंच ऑफ वेपन देर बंच ऑफ टीम्स दैट यू कैन यूज विद न्यू लेट सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड गाइज ओके स्ट्रेट अप स्टार्टिंग विद द बेसिक्स that you need to know about the new bullet new bullet is purely based on the hp percentage so when you are building your new bullet just focus on your max hp the more you having hp on your new bullet the more you going to deal the damage on the field new bullet is a hydro character so he is a reaction based character so the reaction uh, damage he, he deals is the vaporize bloom and hyper bloom is not the uh, hydro but you can consider that so vaporize and bloom is going to be the main and main damage and frozen also going to be the very good uh, reaction but uh, frozen doesn't deal any damage but you can use frozen frozen is also very good with new will it okay next thing is the artifact sets guys and one more thing new blade is based on the charge attack so maximum time you are dealing with the charge attack damage so wh whichever artifacts or weapon you are giving make sure that artifact or that weapon is giving new blades a charge attack damage bonus now guys straight up to the artifact sets we're going to start with the artifact set there's a bunch of artifact sets in the game that you can use with new blade first that you can see you're seeing on the screen is the wanderer drops you can use this wanderer drops on new blade it's just going to be the perfect not the perfect but uh, artifact set that you can use with new bullet in the two pieces is, is giving ad elemental mastery and in four pieces giving 35% extra charge attack damage bonus so as i already told you new bullet is very good with the charge attack and maximum time you are dealing the charge attack damage and maximum time you are dealing the uh, reaction damage damage so in terms of getting the ad plus elemental mastery and 35% more charge attack this artifact is going to be good on new blade and i tried this artifact it's actually very very good other artifact that many 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 are using it's the it's the this artifact set you can use this artifact set no problem in two pieces giving 15% more charge attack damage and in four pieces just giving you around around 36% crit rate see in my opinion this is not that great artifact that you you ha you can use with new blade in terms of the damage buff it buff is it's only giving you the 15% charge attack damage buff nothing else it's giving you 36% crit rate and many are saying that you should focus now then you can fo uh, if, if you're giving this artifact then you can focus on only charge attack then you can give your new blade 250 to 280 charge attack but in my opinion charge attack at some point the charge attack just got capped so it doesn't matter that with higher you like you having a 300 or 280 charge attack uh, that's the that the, the charge attack got capped so that damage difference is not that big and solely first of all having a 280 or 300 charge uh, crit damage is a very big thing for that you need a very godly artifact doesn't matter you are getting all the crit rate from the artifacts and the weapon no but you if you are having 250 or above 250 crit damage you must be having a very good artifact set so that's why this artifact set is not good in my opinion but yes definitely workable and you can use this with new blade in opinion in my opinion the best artifact set is the this artifact set this nymph dream is the best artifact set in two pieces gives you the 15% hydro damage bonus and four pieces gives you the massive amount of attack boost and the hydro damage boost which will help new blade to deal more damage on the field but wonder troops also comes handy it's a very good literally very good artifact set Okay guys one thing i want to tell you the new led i used in this video where i'm showcasing the damage and gameplay it's the is this new led with the 52% crit rate 246 crit damage 120 energy recharge with the st stock the club draw 1303 elemental mastery without any buff having around around 28000 hp without any hydro resonance with hydro resonance i am having 31000 hp so without hydro resonance i am having 28000 hp the weapon i am using the five shot weapons the tom of the eternal flow artifact that i am using in this 
whole video is the wandered roof with the strat like this the hp uh the uh, attack here the hp here and this hydro damage bonus with the no leveled up i'm using this only uh here at seven percent no cap guys and having i'm using the crit rate one here so this is the uh, new blade i'm using with the c1 constellation of course and talents are on seven six six and one last set piece is the Shimanawa guys. Shimanawa, you can also use this Shimanawa. In two pieces, it's giving you the 18% more attack. And in four pieces, giving you the 50% more charge attack. Which, but you're also gonna lose your 15 energy every time you activate your elemental skill. But guys, but the particle generation rate on new ability is very good so you can go with the shimanawa set and you'll getting 50 percent massive 50 percent charge attack damage boost which you want to be very very noticeable on the field the damage difference is insanely very high so if you're already having you know good four piece of wanderer troops or good four piece of shimanawa you don't need to grind for any new artifact set you can give from either of these shoes whichever suits you best I'm making this video for whole community who the players are the F2B players or those players who do, don't want to invest their time their time in the new artifacts. So guys, if you're having a good wounded troops or Shimanawa, you can use those artifact sets on new bullet. They are gonna be very very good. Talking about in particular artifact set that what strat you're gonna need. The four strats gonna be very important first is crit rate crit dam then second is crit damage third is hp percentage and fourth is energy recharge so these four uh per sub strats gonna be very important if you're not having any energy issues and fourth is gonna be the elemental mastery so crit rate crit damage hp percentage energy recharge, and elemental mastery gonna be the very important in the case of new lit in flower we are giving main strat hp in feather we are giving main strat attack in sand we are giving main strat hp percentage no attack here no other energy recharge nothing just we are giving hp percentage here here we are not giving any hp percentage artifacts keep in mind gives hydro damage bonus hydro damage bonus is very very important here it's depend on you but if you are not giving that normal attack artifact you should go for the crit rate if you are giving that normal attack attack artifact just go for the crit damage Oh guys, talking about the combat abilities, all the combat abilities, the normal attacks, elemental skill and elemental burst, all are important. So you have to triple crown your new lit, first focus on the normal attack, then upgrade your elemental skill, then your elemental burst. But in the end, you have to triple crown your new lit because new lit is purely very good character and all of the three abilities are very, very important. Well, okay guys so you know just talking about the constellations c1 c2 c3 constellations super 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 good like super super good you're seeing here you're getting the tr upgrade three level normal attack i don't know which character gets these but you're getting more three level up constellate uh, levels of the normal attack guys the c3 c3 new bullet is gonna be very very good so if you're having the c3 uh, new bullet it's gonna be very very good c1 new bullet is even better like if you're planning to get just one constellation you can get because c1 constellation is very very worth guys very good what c1 constellation does c1 constellation if you read is very long but I'll sh tell you in short the what C1 constellation. The C1 constellation we have to read the this passive talent the here to the ancient sea authority. When the party member triggers a vaporized frozen electro charge boom or hydro soil or hydro crystallized reaction means any any hydro reaction on opponent one stack of past uh, draconic glories will be granted to Nublet for 30 second max three strike you can gain and if you gain respectively three strike uh, which means uh, if you gain one strike you'll get 110 percent bonus charge attack if you get two strikes you get 125 percent bonus charge attack if you get all three strike you get 160 percent charge attack bonus so guys first of all you have Water to use many different different 
characters in your non team. Like if you want to stack all these three, you have to use one, you know, hy uh, hydro Time character here. Called. You have to use one electro character what here, or maybe you have to use here, uh, what's uh, the hydro or uh, the ve sorry, the animal character, or you can go with the crab character. Where is my hydro character? Sounds good to me. So you can use this team. In this way, you can stack all the three, you know, all the three percentages. So you can get maximum 160 bonus charge attack. And in this way, you can trigger Broom and Hyper Bloom. In this way, Kazua will give you a, you know, elemental damage bonus also. Base will heal you. Base will protect you. Base will provide Hydro. Uh, sorry, Dendro element dendro application and raiden is here to provide you electro charge and hyper bloom reaction triggering so this is going to be a very good team if you want to use and properly use new bullet this is just an example i'm not guiding you about the team so that's the w this in this way you can you know stack all the three so what does c1 constellation do c1 constellation just give you one stack when Newlet takes the field, he will obtain one stack of the past draconic glories from the passive talent of here to the ancient sea authorities we just talked to us. So you, when you just, your Newlet takes the field, you just instantly gain one stack. So th uh, then now onwards, you have to, you know, just trigger the two reactions. You don't have to, in this way, you don't have to trigger all three reaction, just trigger true two reaction. That's it two reactions so you can use double hydro or double dendro in your team or double pyro in your team in this way and also when you're performing the charge attack his instruct instruction resistance will be increased while using the charge attack so when you're performing performing the charge attack you you know basically become a tank so enemy won't interrupt your attack so that's a really helpful so that's why i'm telling uh that's why i'm talking about the c1 constellation is worth total worth if you want to go for the c1 constellation and go it's total worth if you want to go for the more constellation the c3 constellation is going to be the blast flavor unlike any okay guys so weapons you can use many different weapon i have already created videos related to the four stars and five stars weapon of new bullet you can go to my channel and check it out and this is the signature weapon of new bullet the tomb of the eternal flow it's the best weapon it's the you know whole game's best weapon for new bullet if you want to get the best weapon just go and wish for this weapon otherwise in four star in my opinion prototype ember is the best weapon in four star it's also a free weapon you have just have to craft forge this weapon you can forge this weapon to r5 this weapon gives you more energy and heals all your party members every two seconds so guys it's insane for four stars for dev ember is just good and if you want to go for the five star the tomb of the eternal floor is very good but if you want to know more about the other weapons you can go on my channel and check my top five four stars weapon for new bullet and top five five star weapons for new bullet videos on my channel nice and spicy a bitter pill to swap Okay guys, so thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helps in, a, in any way and uh, I hope you like the video. If Still, if you don't like the video, you can dislike. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friend and guys, comment below if you ha still have any questions related to new or any other Genshin characters. I try to answer them all and guys, we'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.